this little boy was frequently falling ill with infectious diseases the immunity of his body that is the strength to fight against diseases was decreased so what provides protection to our body well blood is the fluid connective tissue and it can transport protective substances throughout the body blood can be separated into two parts the upper yellow fluid that you can see is known as the plasma and this part that sediments below is known as the formed element now see it has a dark red color because of the presence of red blood cells now the function of plasma is to provide the fluid nature of blood so that blood can be transported from one part of the body to another and the function of red blood cells is to transport oxygen in the body so what provides protection to our body well notice that between the layer of plasma and this layer of red blood cells is a connecting white solid see this layer is made up of a white solid so what is this white solid layer made up of well since it is white in color the cells that are forming this layer is known as the white blood cells or in short we can say wbc which stands for white blood cells now if you see a white blood cell under a microscope you will see that it has a nucleus so it is a nucleated cell unlike the red blood cells which did not have a nucleus the white blood cell has a diameter of about 8 to 20 microns similar to the red blood cells the white blood cells also get formed in the red bone marrow it has a life span of a few hours to a few days and then finally it gets destroyed in the liver this is the blood of a diseased man when looked under a microscope see there is a lot of white blood cell present in his blood you can easily distinguish the white blood cells from the red blood cells because white blood cells have a distinct nucleus present in them now if you see blood of a healthy man under the microscope you won't find many wbcs during a war just like more and more soldiers are sent to the war front to provide protection to the country similarly when infectious diseases invade the body more and more white blood cells are produced in our body and these white blood cells provide protection to our body the white blood cells that are present see these are the white blood cells protect uh, against the foreign particles that enter the body and cause a lot of harm the white blood cells do not have a fixed shape see they continuously change their shape till they can engulf this foreign particle and this entire process of engulfing a foreign particle 
is known as phagocytosis. So the phagocytic cells that provide protection to our body, see, they have a multilobular nucleus. They have multiple lobes in their nucleus. This is one kind of a white blood cell. Now, during allergic reactions of our body, white blood cells provide protection. But there are two different kinds of white blood cells that provide protection to us. Look at this white blood cell. It has an indistinctly lobed nucleus. The nucleus is not lobed properly. Now look at this white blood cell. See, its nucleus is bilobed. One lobe and this is the second lobe. So there are different kinds of white blood cells present in the body. A substance can be either acidic, neutral or basic. So the measure of acidity or basicity of a substance is known as the pH. Now there are three different kinds of white blood cells present in the body. This white blood cell that do not have a distinctly lobed nucleus is known as basophil. Baso comes from the word base and phil means to love. That is, this white blood cell gets stained with a basic dye. Now the second white blood cell which has a bilobed nucleus is known as the eosinophil. Eosin is an acid and phil is to love. So eosinophils get stained with acidic dyes. And then there is a third kind of white blood cell known as the neutrophils. The neutrophils have a multilobular nucleus. Neutro comes from the word neutral, that is, it gets stained with neutral dyes. So during allergies, basophils and eosinophils provide protection. And in other cases, during other infections, the neutrophils provide protection to the body. Now the basophils, that is the white blood cell, which did not have a distinctly lobed nucleus, secretes a chemical which kills foreign molecules and this chemical is known as histamine. So what is the function of histamine? Histamine dilates the blood vessels. So if a blood vessel is narrow like this, histamine secreted by the basophils will increase the breadth of the vessel and make it broader. So now these broader blood vessels can accommodate the eosinophils which are bigger cells. So the histamine dilates the blood vessels so that eosinophils can pass through. Now since the blood vessels get dilated, plasma also oozes out of the blood vessels into the extracellular space. And that is why this swelling takes place during allergies. This is nothing but the accumulation of plasma causing edema, which is the swelling. So the foreign molecules that invade in our body 
are known as antigen. Anti comes from the word antibody. And gen comes from the word generator. Antigen is an antibody generator. Now what is an antibody? Antibody is a molecule which protects against foreign molecules that have invaded in our body. But we have discussed that white blood cells protect us from these foreign molecules. So what are these antibodies? Well, there are certain white blood cells present in our body which secrete these proteinaceous molecules known as antibodies that provides protection against the foreign particles. So the white blood cells that do not have a lobed nucleus, see the nucleus is spherical. So these cells have uh, a spherical nucleus without a lobe and they secrete antibodies and these kind of white blood cells are known as lymphocytes. Now another form of white blood cell that is found in the body are known as monocytes. These monocytes have a kidney bean shaped nucleus. See the nucleus is kidney bean shaped and even these monocytes can secrete antibodies. Now try and identify the different kinds of white blood cells that are present in the body. What is this white blood cell known as? Well, it has an indistinctly lobed nucleus, so it is known as the basophil. This white blood cell has a bilobed nucleus and is known as the eosinophil. This kind of a white blood cell which has a multiple lobular nucleus is known as a neutrophil. This white blood cell can release antibodies which are proteinaceous particles that provide uh, protection to our body and see it has a kidney bean shaped nucleus and is known as the monocyte. And the fifth white blood cell that is present in the blood, in the blood and uh, secretes antibodies are known as lymphocytes. See, the lymphocytes do not have a lobed nucleus. So these are the five different kinds of white blood cells that are present in the body and provides protection against various infections that invade in our body. Now notice another thing. See, in these three white blood cells, the basophil, the eosinophil and the neutrophil, notice there are many granules present in the cytoplasm. See, granules are present. See, 
since the cytoplasm is granulated these cells together are known as granulocytes and the monocyte and the lymphocytes do not have these granules in their cytoplasm since their cytoplasm is not granulated they are known as agranulocytes that is without the granules so they are known as agranulocytes so there are granulocytes and agranulocytes which form all the white blood cells that are present in our body